All right, Gerard, congratulations on Macedo Rojo. What a trip at Churchill Downs. What was that like? Oh, it was nice, very nice. Uh, I mean, as far as the race goes, we had a perfect trip, like you said. Uh, but the 10 hole, and the horse likes to be on the outside. And, uh, you know, Shane, you know, pretty much left it in my hands. And we had a good trip, you know. Okay, now, Philemon Rodriguez is a regular rider, but you're three for three on that horse. Is he getting better with age? Uh, he, uh, I don't know. I mean, he runs fast enough to win, you know. And uh, even though when he ran with lesser stock, he'd only win by a length or a half mm -hmm. a length. You know, he just does what he has to do. I mean, he's so professional. So really don't know how, how good he is. He's got a big heart, doesn't he? Down the lane, I knew you weren't going to get beat once you went heads up against that other horse. Yes, sir. Yeah, he was fighting. He's a fighter. Yeah. He, you know, he goes after him. He pins his ears down, and he's, he's a He's a dream ride. Yeah. Now, Shane Wilson told me he likes to be on the outside, and when you drew an outside post, you guys are probably pretty happy about that, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Tell yeah. us, take us through the trip. He broke good, and then you just sat he right broke off good. the pace. I got to save a little ground on the first turn, you know, and uh, uh, I had him, you know, in my sight the whole time. Uh, we talked about the race. We thought the nine horse had the best numbers, uh, and that we thought he was the one to beat, and uh, I had a really good trip. Um, the four horse, which went off the favorite quip, was stuck inside, and uh, Florent was having a little trouble getting them to settle, and uh, I, I had him in my sights, and I, I just, I knew I, I knew I had I had quip whip because uh, he, he was just taking too much out of him on the yeah. backside. So, now what point did you know you won the race? Because at the top of the lane you were still behind, but you were running down the leader, weren't you? Yeah, I knew running down the lane, I knew I had the, the lead horse. I knew I was going to get by him. Uh, and uh, there were some deep closes in the race, but we was finishing very fast, and and I didn't expect nobody to come and get us. Now, not only was that a graded race, quarter million dollars with a great horse, you hadn't been to Churchill Downs since 1985. What was it like to ride under the Twin Spires again? It was nice. It was nice. Uh, everybody welcomed me, and, uh, you know, it's like a big family, you know, all the riders I've, I've known most of them over the years, you know, Corey Landry, Alvarado, and, and Graham, and and uh, just met Jack Gilligan last year, and what a super guy he is, and uh, we was in South Korea together, and uh, Jack Gilligan got great family, I met his parents, and all really good horsemen, and uh, everybody treated me very well in Kentucky. Now, you mentioned South Korea. You made your second straight trip to South Korea this year. I didn't win the race there, but what an experience. Quickly tell me about that. It was it was nice. Uh, I brought my agent this year, and uh, the people were very nice to us uh, and treated us very well. Uh, I wish our horses would have ran better, uh, but uh, it's a total different surface than here and than you ever see, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just it's hard to describe it. It's so deep, and uh, the horses really probably would have a better chance if they'll get there a month ahead of time and work a couple of times over that and get used to it. But, uh, it's it's total, uh, totally different than, than anything here. Speaking of other countries, what other countries have you ridden in other than South South Korea? Only South Korea and Dubai. Dubai, yes, okay. sir. How does it compare to Dubai? Uh, they're, they're both very nice places and we got treated great both places. Uh, Dubai is, uh, is very nice. You know, I wouldn't put nothing, you know, ahead of them. Yeah. Now, what about uh, your career? You're coming up on 5,000 wins. It's within reach now. Do you kind of see that down the road, and that's a big goal for you? That's what I'm praying for and working hard for. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say it's one of my goals. You know, I think I need 150-something more wins. Uh, hopefully, I can get it in the next couple of years with no bad luck. And... Uh, well, we want you to stay healthy and get to that goal because we're going to celebrate if you do, okay? You bet. You bet. We sure will. Hey, down. before we get off here, I want you to say hello to our good friend up in western New York, Tony Lisi. I know you know him. He's a big <laughs> fan of yours. He's a G-Money fan. Say hi to Tony. Hey, Tony. How you doing? I talked to him this morning. He texted me this morning. <laughs> he got to watching Delta Downs racing and became a big fan of G-Money, and uh, we're all big fans. So congratulations. Good luck this season at Delta Downs. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Downs.